Hey guys, welcome back to Ronsis Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to apply factoring trinomials to word problems. Here we have the word problem which says, find the possible dimensions of a rectangle with an area of x squared plus 15x plus 56. So we've been given the area of the rectangle, which is of course this trinomial, also known as a polynomial, x squared plus 15x plus 56, and of course this is in standard form, and we need to find the possible dimensions. And of course we'll find the dimensions by factoring. So when you're factoring a polynomial, we know that we need to find factor pairs of the C term, that when you multiply it, of course you'll get that C term, but when you add them, you'll get the B term. So the C term in this case is 56, and the b, the value of b is 15. So we need to find factor pairs of 56 that when we multiply, we'll get 56, and when we add, we get positive 15. So let's go ahead and write down the factors of 56. So there are only four factor pairs of 56, which are one times 56, two times 28, 4 times 14 and, well, let's write it in the order we were giving, so 7 times 8. Or, of course, 8 times 7, 14 times 4, 28 times 2, and 56 times 1. Same thing. So these are the factor pairs of 56. Now we need to find one factor pair that when you multiply these two numbers, of course, we'll get 56, but when you add them, you get 15. Well, 56 plus 1 is 57, so this is obviously not it. 28 plus 2 is 30, not it as well. 14 plus 4 is 18. It is close, but it's not what we're looking for because we're looking for 15. And 8 times 7 is 15, and so this is the factor pair that we are looking for, 7 and 8. So when you're writing out the binomials, because remember, when you factor it out, you're going to get two binomials. So it's going to be x plus or minus a number and then x plus or minus a number. So in this case, but our B term and C term is positive. So that means both of these are going to be positive. So remember, whenever your B term and C term are positive, your um, binomials are both going to have plus sign. So we found the factor pairs 7 and 8, so it doesn't really matter where we put them, so we can put 7 here and 8 here. Same thing if you put 8 here and then 7 there. So this is how you factor this trinomial, x squared plus 15x plus 56, and we get x plus 7 and x plus 8. So this is the factoriz factorization. Now if you need to check your answer, you can always apply the FOIL method. So if you scroll down a bit, and if you're going to do FOIL, x plus 7 and x plus 8, you're going to multiply x by x, you're going to get x squared, multiply x by positive 8, get positive 8x, 7 times x gives you positive 7x, and 7 times 8 gives you positive 56. Combine like terms, and we get x squared plus 15x plus 56, which is the original polynomial that we have up here. So our factorization is correct. So this is how you apply factoring trinomials to word problems. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time. Bye!